Hey good people, we know how to move our player already, but when we use rigid body component and physics and we want to detect collisions, maybe it would be a better idea to move object with rigid body component. And today we will do something like that. I will show you how to move, let's say, a bullet with rigid body component. So let's create our own bullet. I will go to the sprites and choose, let's say, this one. I will change the name to bullet. Maybe I will make it a little bit bigger. So I will lock the ratio and put 1.5. Now we have to add components, which will be box collider 2D and let's add rigid body 2D. I don't want it to be affected by the gravity so I will set it to zero and now we need to add some script to our bullet so let's create a new C sharp script and let's call it a bullet of course it should be bullet not bullet <laughs> and now let's add the script to the object and I think that we can make it a prefab already so let's grab it and drop it down to project and let's open the bullet script we want to move it with rigid body, so we need to cache rigid body component. Let's type rigid body to the RB. This is quite common to call this variable RB. Now in the start we can say RB equals get component rigid body 2D. But to be honest, I personally prefer to use um, getting components and initializing object itself not in the start but in the awake method for me it's better because later on if some other objects on the scene have to connect with this object we are sure that everything is set up and everything is ready if we do that in awake method so this is what i like doing let's go to the fixed update we'll type fixed update Normally when we use some physics, we will do that in the fixed update. Fixed update method is executed 50 times per second. So it's a little bit similar to update, but we use it for physics and we know how many times a second it will execute. So in fixed update, we will use our component and we'll use velocity equals and we want this bullet to go to the right yes so we need to specify a new vector and we need to say that it should go to the right so let's type some value maybe 3f and i will put 0f on the y because i don't want it to move up or down i want it to fly straight to the right and this is it actually this is all that we need maybe we can remove the update method. So let's go back and see if it works. Now if we press play, the bullet should be flying to the right. And it is, nice. So now we can create another variable, make it serialize field of type float, and we'll name it speed. And I will assign value of 5f to it, so that we can change this value in the inspector to define the speed of this bullet. Now we can multiply it by the speed and that's it. I can multiply it like that because here is zero all the time so I don't care about this value. Press play and our bullet should be traveling a little bit faster. Okay, it works but this is not exactly what I like to do. I will show you something. At the moment our bullet is traveling to the right, yes? But what would happen if we would like to add functionality so that we rotate our gun and we want to shoot up and down and left and so on. So our system will not work as it should because it always wants to travel to the right. Now I will rotate our bullet a little bit. If we press play, it still will travel to the right. You see, doesn't look good. Maybe I will drop down this a little bit. If we go back to the script, we can change it. We don't want to use this vector2 directing to the right all the time with the word space. We want to direct our uh, bullet to the right, but in its local space. Let me show you that. If we look at our bullet, 
it always has some direction. When we imported this asset, it was like that. So the right side of it is here, yes? And this is word space as well. But now when we rotate it, the word space is still to the right in this direction, but in local space to this bullet, the right side is always pointing forward, okay? Like that. So now we don't want to use the word space, we want to use this local space of this bullet. And how can we do that? We can use the transform component to obtain this goal. Type transform and now dot and write. Now if I zoom out a little bit and press play, the bullet should be traveling in its direction. Yes, and it does. Now if we change the rotation, for example, to the left, it should go to the left. And it does. Okay, cool. This is what we wanted to achieve. We can go back with the rotation to zero and maybe increase our bullet speed a little bit and override all changes. We can delete our bullet from the scene because it is ready.